Did the Dallas Cowboys find a quarterback here in this 20 to 14 preseason loss on a Saturday night at AT&T Stadium to the hated Houston Texans? Or did they lose a quarterback here? Mike Fisher uh, reporting from the stadium. And of course, we're not talking about Dak Prescott. He went through his pregame warmups. He was fine. He did the shoulder thing. He did the hip thing. He made all the throws. He's fine. I've, and I've been trying to tell you he's fine for, uh, for a couple weeks. And I'm going to tell you again. Uh, and I don't care what they say. I don't care what ESPN says. I don't care if Adam Schefter was trying to be conversational. I don't care if he was trying to be cute. I don't care if he um, misspoke. I don't care. Uh, it, it was a really dangerous thing that he did by, by phrasing uh, the Dak Prescott 100% uh, as he did. A, a dangerous and not very responsible thing. I think Adam Schefter is probably upset because some people took that story and ran with it in a direction that he did not intend, but it's still partly his fault. Uh, he's been doing this long enough now. He needs to understand the, the importance of the words, not 100% all year. Those are big words to be using on the Dallas Cowboys quarterback. I talked to a, a scouting director from another team, by the way, uh, a longtime friend of mine, who said, number one, Dak's fine. And number two, he said, if the quarterback on our team broke his leg, it wouldn't get as much coverage as Dak Prescott having a sore muscle in his shoulder. And he's right. And, and that's a driving force here. So Dak's not really the quarterbacking story tonight. Uh, Garrett Gilbert was okay. Cooper Rush was pretty good. And after the game, Mike McCarthy mentioned how those two quarterbacks did a good job. And so I think we can now suggest that Cooper Rush has escalated. He's ascended a little bit into a true competition at number two. Remember, Stephen Jones at the same time saying they're also competing with every other quarterback in the league who might get cut. Every other number three quarterback, every other number four quarterback around the NFL, those two guys are in competition with. But they are also now in competition with each other. And McCarthy said it. Somebody asked Mike McCarthy afterwards, uh, and they, they repeated the question as if they didn't understand his answer. He, he said, we're going to need another week. And then the questioner said it again. Well, what, what are you going to do with backup quarterback? We're going to need another week. Well, yeah, but what are you going to... McCarthy's telling you, we need another week of judgment. Another week of judgment in practice. And then um, the final game against Jacksonville, which is going to be a QB off. And it's going to be Cooper Rush versus Garrett Gilbert. Maybe not in that order, but those two guys. The guy who will not be involved in that is Ben DiNucci who played his way out of a job tonight. Not off the practice squad. Uh, they will cut Ben DiNucci, and then they'll bring him back to the practice squad because nobody is going to claim him. And then uh, Uncle Mike McCarthy can have his adopted nephew here on the practice squad, and they continue uh, can continue to try to develop him to wherever they think he might go. But he is not in play here. Garrett Gilbert already was. Other guys around the league already were, and now Cooper Rush is in play as well. Reporting from AT&T Stadium in Arlington with the Cowboys. Fish, out.